My name is Jocelyn, and today we're going to do a science experiment all about physics. Hey, so these are the things you're going to need. Food coloring, a thin plastic cutting board, and four identical cups. So by now you should have your red food coloring out and your blue food coloring out, and a run up old chopstick. And you should have your other colors packed away in a box. First, we're going to put the blue food coloring in the blue so you know it's blue. Then you're going to get your chopstick and stir it. And then you're going to get your red food coloring and put it in the red. So we have the red food coloring in here because we want you to know that it's hot. And we have the blue food coloring in here because we want you to know it's cold. So, I can't do this by myself because this is probably a bit hot. So my dad is going to do it for me. What do you think happens if we put the cold water on top of the hot water? Uh-oh, it kind of spilled a little. Then pull out your very thin cutting mat and see what happens. Notice how the colors combined and made the color purple. What do you think would happen if we put the hot water on top of the cold water instead? combined but these colors don't. What's happening here is a process called thermal convection. Have you ever heard the old saying that hot air rises? Same with water too. When hot water was on the bottom it rose to the top. It mixed. When the hot water was on the top it stayed right where it was. Thank you for watching my video.